What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Young H Fact, and I'm in the car with my brother who has just got hired with one of the best HVAC companies in Las Vegas. Uh, I'm so proud of her. <laughs> nah, I just slam. Go ahead. <laughs> nah, I just slam. But uh, yeah, so um, this dude needs some tools. They gave him a list. So we're about to hit Home Depot, and the way their uh, tool list is set up is it's by weeks. So there's a certain amount of tools you have to have before uh, a certain amount of weeks is over, which is like his probation period. So by the time his probation is up, he'll have all the tools on this list and he'll be able to fully function by himself. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're not going to go over that whole list because that'll be a super long video. We're just going to take uh, the first two weeks worth and we're going to hit Home Depot and we're going to get everything this dude's need, everything this dude needs in order to succeed. Uh, I know that rhymed, but uh, yeah. So in the next clip, we're going to be already inside of Home Depot probably. So let's get right into this video. This video is sponsored by Trade Academy. Trade Academy works with over 20,000 home service businesses nationwide to help those looking for employment, get training, and find sustainable, high-paying careers. Over the last few months, the Trade Academy team has been involved with supporting the next generation of HVAC techs by giving away over $25,000 in scholarships, tools, and other prizes for the HVAC community. What they've learned from talking to technicians like us is that you have to have passion, grit, drive and determination to earn your education, find a job, and let's not forget to finally start your own successful business in the trades too. So it's their mission to catapult as many people who are willing to listen along their way. If you have a passion for the trades, check the link in the description and learn how you can win over $2,500 to put towards your HVAC education and career. Realistically, you want something compact and small, but not space. This one be cool. All right, we got the Husky 14-inch large mouth bag. This one costs $24.97. Next thing that we need, bruh. So you need a set of, uh, need a set of wrenches. Crescent wrenches, Allen wrenches. Crescent wrenches, all right, let's see, bruh. Number two, Crescent Wrenches. So this is a two pack right here. It's actually by Crescent. These are not called Crescent Wrenches. Uh, the tool itself, they're like adjustable wrenches. Crescent is actually a brand. So uh, if we're being uh, proper, then these are just called adjustable wrenches. These uh, two go for $22.97. All right, number three, what does it say? Needle nose pliers. All right, needle nose pliers. Uh, Keep in mind that we're working on a budget here, so we're not trying to get the most expensive tools, but some tools that are still going to get the job done. Right. right here we have a Husky. So Husky is a uh, more affordable brand, but don't get it mistaken. These tools are just as good of a quality. Strippers. Wire strippers. Um, yes, sir. What's up, what's up, You want the affordable one? There are some wire strippers in the same exact area. It's crazy because a lot of the stuff we need, it's all in the same area. So we don't gotta do that much moving around and stuff like that. So. Uh, which one do you like, dude? So, just like me, this guy is kind of filling these uh, Milwaukee ones. These are $17.97, not the most affordable, but mm -hmm. when it comes to wire strippers, you want to get something that's uh, pretty good quality. I like these, and I also like the Klein wire strippers, so we may see those later. Next, we need a level. Next, he needs a level. And what do you know? Everything is right here. It's crazy because we don't even have to go. We don't even have to go anywhere. 
everything's in this one section right here. Uh, so there's many different levels. Uh, sorry, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna show you. There's so many different levels here, but we're just gonna go with one that gets the job done for now. Uh, maybe one with a magnet also. Uh, so which one you got there? Uh, this one does not have a magnet, but it is the cheapest and the most affordable. So in this case, you may have to hold it up yourself, but mm -hmm. if or, you need to upgrade later, well, or actually, you can grab the one that's three dollars more and it comes with a magnet set, top and the bottom. Sweet. So we can get a magnet on this one, and it's only four ninety seven. Mm -hmm. Let's go. What's next on the list, dude? Most definitely gonna need some knee pads off top. Knee pads. There's a whole section here, but you want to get the best brand possible because it's all about protecting your knees. It's not about the price. All right. So these are the Husky Gel, gel non-marrying knee pads, twenty-four ninety-seven. Let's go. All right. What's next on the list, dude? All right. We need. We can use a razor knife, most definitely. Any kind of knife would do. Box cutter, regular knife. All right, so he's looking for a razor knife right now. There's many different brands in here. Most of them aren't that expensive, but we are going to see which one we should get. I'm sure they're all just as sharp. So which one? Pretty sure this DeWalt one will be good. It's only $9 compared to everything else. And it's an actual knife instead of a box cutter. Sweet. That one's $9.97. Like that one's great. Mm -hmm. like you need measuring tape. Most definitely. Dude, literally everything we need is already here. Measuring tape. In this case, I don't think he's gonna need the most expensive measuring tape, just, nope. just something that gets the job done. Something small. So, so cool Stanley. Stanley 16. It's only 397. Gets the job done like you said. 397 for the Stanley. We'll take it. Is that what? Right, what was the next thing? All right, so we need 11 and one screwdriver. It's not HVAC specific, but this is the one that you will want to buy. All right, next thing he ended up getting was an 11 and one. Uh, they do make this in an HVAC version, but you won't always find it in the store. You may have to order it on Amazon or something, but. Klein is probably the leader in uh, 11 and ones when it comes to HVAC, in my opinion. All right, what was the next thing? All right, so we need some tube cutters. All right, we're in. We're now in the plumbing section. As HVAC technicians, not only do we do electrical, we also do plumbing. So slight plumbing, but uh, yeah, we need some tubing cutters, PVC, and also tubing cutters here. There's a bunch of different brands. Uh, most of the time you need large tubing cutters and small tubing cutters. We're gonna go ahead and go with the rigid. One small one and one bigger cutter. When it comes to these, you wanna go ahead and just get a good brand, especially if you're doing the kind of work he's doing. So, large tubing cutter was 30 bucks by rigid. That's cheaper options and small ones was 15 bucks but uh in this case we're thinking long term all right so just a quick recap of everything that we've went ahead and and uh got today we started off with a tool bag uh and pretty much our focus was to just get the most stuff we could for the least amount of money pretty much uh some still quality stuff but you gotta have a bag to put all the stuff in of course We got some adjustable wrenches. Uh, most of the time I've used these for uh, set screws and also uh, just like uh, larger nuts and uh, stuff like that. I know I said nuts, but don't laugh. Uh, 
But yeah, we got some PVC cutters. So for what he's gonna be doing, it's like an install, uh, new construction type uh, type deal, where he may have to cut into uh, PVC. So we got these by Husky. We got an 11 in one. So pretty much this is like 11 tools in one. If you uh, never heard of this, then I would recommend this one by Klein. Uh, this is not the HVAC one. The HVAC one actually comes with a Schrader core, Schrader core removal tool. So that way it's one extra tool in one. You don't have to worry about carrying a lot of extra things because uh, it's always easier to pack lighter. We got some wire strippers here. Uh, these are by Milwaukee. Me, I prefer Klein, but these will get the job done just as well. This one has a spring in it, so it's super easy. We actually got a knife. Uh, most people use razor knives or knives. I think this looks a lot cooler and it's for the same exact price. So this could just be something that you carry around every day, whether you're working or not. We got a level here because um, he's gonna be installing some thermostats and all kind of stuff like that. This one was only five bucks and it has a magnet, which is really, really good. We got some needle nose pliers here. Uh, most of the time these could be used to get into very tight spaces. Uh, this one's by Husky and very good price, high quality tool. I, I also have this one. Measuring tape. Uh, this is Stanley. You can never go wrong with a good old Stanley if you're not trying to spend the most amount of money. Uh, this one's, this will get the job done pretty much. Last we have our tubing cutters. So one large tubing cutter, this could be used for your three quarters, five eighths, and smaller one could be used for your three eighths copper. Uh, you never know, he may run into an instance where he has to fix a uh, uh, line set or you know fix a brace joint or maybe cut out a metering device that was in, uh, that was installed wrong. And so he's gonna need these. And we went ahead with with rigid because this is a uh, very reputable brand amongst plumbers and HVAC guys. So that's what we got right here. Oh, and I almost forgot, we got some knee pads. So a lot of tradesmen will tell you knee pads are important if you want to last longer in this trade. Even with knee pads, most guys still end up with knee problems. So let's try to slow that down. We got some knee pads here. These also have gel inside. So don't cheat yourself when it comes to knee pads because you gotta take care of your body. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pay for this stuff and then I'll get right back to you guys. Shout out to Young HVAC. All right, so we're back at my brother's house and um, so he's already put all of his tools up, but there's one last thing that I wanna surprise him with. So everyone knows you're gonna need gauges and you probably can't get a good set of gauges at Home Depot, so I'm gonna go ahead and jumpstart his career and uh, give him a nice set of digital gauges. Hold Check on this one out, second. boy. Hold on one second. What the fuck? Oh, nah, boy. Open it, dude. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, nah, it's with the shut off, shut on valves. Yes, this oh. is this is not that little dude. This yeah, is big the, boy shit. This is the 380 right there. Comes big with the shit. vacuum. Yeah, vacuum. Hello and everything. So what do you think about these, son? Jones look sweet, huh? Good look. She gonna make it way more easier to read the pressures, though. My dog. I, I was using that damn dial piece, boy. This shit about to make it so much easier. It's been a long day, and it took me a lot to make that video. So if you enjoyed that video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Also, the link to my Discord and um, the scholarship will be inside my bio. Um, We've upped it up to $20,000, so now that's 20 scholarships instead of 10. So make sure you click the link in my bio and find out how you can win some money in order for you to go to school. It's your boy Young HVAC, and today has been a good day.